Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from Player Attack, and we are here at E3 2012 in the Sony booth with our good friend John McLaughlin, who we've spoken to a couple of times before. He's from XDev Studios, and you've been working on all sorts of things. Last time we saw you at E3, you were working on Reality Fighters. Yes. So what's changed since then? So we've wrapped Reality Fighters, we shipped the Vita launch, which was all good, and I've been working on some, I've got a team of producers working on some more AR games. So we shipped their three AR games of Vita launch, really small free games called Tabletop Football, or Tabletop Soccer if you're in the States. <laughs> we've got Fireworks and we had Cliff Diving too. So we're on to the next round of those games, really small games out for the PlayStation Network. We launched Tabletop Tanks last week, which is a little mini tanks game that you can play on your tabletop. The cool thing about this is you can interact with real world objects. So you place a bottle of water down, you can create geometry around that, you can shoot it with the tank and then some water will pour it out. And next week we've got a new game called Pulsar, so it's a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. And in Pulsar, you've got a big meteor that's right above you. You need to look up with your Vita, and you'll see it with through augmented reality. And what you need to do, you need to guide the laser around around the table using the markers and prisms and mirrors. You need to guide that laser to, in order to set off your missile. And you can follow the missile up, and it'll destroy the asteroid. So really cool games, really small, just something different for Vita owners to play. So while most Vita games and, and other sort of portable games are being advertised as, you know, this is something you can play on the bus, this is stuff you really will actually need a fair bit of space around you to yeah. play. So it uses our wide area augmented reality tech, so you need a little bit of space, whether it's on the floor or whether it's on the coffee table, and you can use all six markers to, to play around. And the great thing about like something like Pulsar is that if you were to solve one of the puzzles, it'd be different to how I solve it. So it's, it's your choice how you solve the puzzles. And there's 25 puzzles in that game. In tabletop tanks, we've got solo mode, we've got ad hoc multiplayer, there's lots of different championship modes, capture the flag, last man standing, there's loads of modes. There's lots of content in these really small games, so I think everyone should check them out. <laughs> the buzzword around the Sony booth this year is crossplay. Is there any crossplay type elements available in the stuff that you've been working on? So within XDev Studios, we're doing plenty of crossplay. Within these augmented reality games, not. But with stuff like Vikings Attacks and stuff like LBP on Vita, we've got plenty of crossplay coming. So would it be possible to translate some of this AR stuff to PS3? Well, we've already in, done. In addition to the stuff that's already there, of course. No plans with these small games. We, we may do things in the future. Um, you've seen before with crossplay, we've got already got augmented reality on PlayStation 3 with the likes of Wonderbook. We've done all the iToy stuff before in the past. So anything's possible, really. There you go. So hopefully we'll see you next year and you can tell us all the new cool stuff that's coming out in, in augmented reality. Is, what, what is in the, the works for next year? What are you working on now? Well, a lot of stuff that I can't talk about. Actually, um, we're working on some new small augmented reality titles and working on some much larger augmented reality titles which are going to be pretty mind-blowing. We're using some of the new technology that was uh, announced at GDC in San Francisco, some of the marvelous technology. So it's really exciting times for us. A pity I can't tell you, but it's top secret. Sorry. We'll just have to chase you up next year. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much.